all you need for this project is one seal chunky yarn just one skein one circular needle size 4.5 40 centimeters long and a few hours to make this neck warmer so hello and welcome to what will i need next my name is momoyo karaoke and if you've been looking for something to make i think you just found one and if you've watched my reels on instagram and you've seen this neck warmer and you've been thinking i would love to make myself one or probably make for somebody that i love one then this is the video for you this is going to be my very first tutorial and we are going to make this neck warmer welcome this project is perfect for beginners it's an easy knit a quick knit and all you need to know is knit and pearl so let's get into it So this is the first step of making the neck warmer. Uh, I'm using the seal yarn. It's a three ply and it is chunky yarn. I'm using circular needles. These are pony brand size 4.5 millimeters and the length is 40 centimeters to cast on for this neck warmer you cast on the same stitches you cast for a beanie if you're doing a beanie for an adult the same stitches based on the yarn you're using if you're doing for a child the same stitches for the neck warmer in this particular one that i am making we're going to cast on 112 stitches with this seal chunky yarn Remember that the stitches will be different depending on the weight of the yarn. The lighter and thinner it is, the more the stitches. The chunkier and heavier it is, the less the stitches. So let's go. 112 stitches on this one. I'm using the long tail casting method. So I have one long one on this one. And I have the one that is on the ball. And let's see you when I finish casting a hundred and twelve. We have the hundred and twelve stitches plus one. So this total is 113. The plus one, the 113 stitch is for joining this into the circular or into the round. So the first thing you make sure is that all your stitches are well laid and not twisted. So that's what we're gonna do. Make sure that they are all laid well on the inside and not twisted at all it's very easy to start knitting with your stitches twisted and that's going to be a problem so make sure they're all on the inside like that the second thing you make sure is that you're not using your leftover long tail yarn to knit otherwise you run out in a few seconds so this is my long tail which i will need to fold i need to make sure that my knitting yarn is on my right and coming right from the ball so to join in circular you stitch the first stitch the 113 or the extra one and use the cast off method to join in circular and now we have our stitches all in circular 
remember the size of this needle is 40 centimeters long longer than this is going to give you problems because it's going to be too long for the number of stitches shorter than this will also give you problems because it's going to be too short and you'll have your stitches spilling over or affecting the tension so the right size of needles is very important if you're doing in circular the length of the needle or the cable needle is very important to ensure that you maintain a good tension and you don't have your stitches um, falling off the needles so we're going to start now by putting a stitch marker at the beginning of our row here are my stitch markers and we're going to take a bright color that I cannot miss to notice I'm using a black yarn so really all these colors are good for the black yarn other than the black stitch marker uh, we've already done one stitch so our row is starting behind this stitch and we're going to put the stitch marker there and mark the beginning of our row so remember this one was a neat stitch the first stitch was a neat stitch this particular neck warmer we are doing it in two by two ribbed pattern so this having been the very first knit stitch we're going to do another knit stitch and that gives us our first two knit stitch and then we're going to turn the yarn and do the purl stitch two of them and now we have the two by two two knit and two purl so we're going to repeat this all around until this neck warmer is six inches long i will come after a few rows and show you the progress and i hope that will be the same for yours so let's go see you in another few rows remember it is two knit two purl two knit to power and that is going to give us the two by two ribbed pattern see you so i've made this much progress i would say i am halfway the six inches that i talked about this is how the two by two ribbing is going to look you can see how the tension is it's a really nice one and the ease is not too much so it won't be stretching too big so you'll be able to maintain um, a good fit around the neck this is what you should have by now if you have come all the way to half it and then now i will see you when i get to six inches so that i can show you what we are going to do after the six inches Enjoy your knitting. Hmm. It's now at the end of the day and I have achieved the six inches length that I need to. And now we are at the point where we need to increase the stitches to be able to make that shoulder area where the neck warmer lies comfortably and beautifully on your neck so we're now at where the starting point is and this is my stitch marker to do the increase we will be increasing at the pulse only so we're going to do our first knit we are going to knit all the knits without increasing. So do the knits. And then we are increasing one stitch at the purl stitches. And to increase the first purl stitch, we are going to purl 
from the front and knit and knit from the back and by doing so we have two stitches and the next stitch is a pearl stitch so we have done the knit stitches which is two stitches and the first pearl stitch we have increased to make two plus the third one which was a second one before and now we have three stitches we repeat one more time knit then knit turn the yarn to pull the first before removing it from the needle put the yarn forward and knit the same stitch from the back and you have two stitches and the third stitch is the stitch that was meant to be the second pearl that we pearl we repeat this again knit then knit we are now at the pearl pearl the first stitch do not remove it from the needle Ta put your yarn to the back knit the same stitch from the back and you have two stitches two stitches the second pearl that is now the third pearl stitch pearl it you're going to increase one stitches in all the pearl sections until you come to your starting point. Let's do that. Once you get back here, you're now going to be doing two by three, two knits and three pearl, two knits and three pearl. And you're going to continue like that for one inch or one and a half inch length. That depends on how you would like your neck warmer to sit. How wide would you like it to sit on your shoulders? So see you when at least I do this round and we can check after two rounds to see the progress we have. So I have now finished doing the increases on all the pearl sections and I am now on the next row and this is how you should be doing it. This is what you should have. You should do your knits. The knits will only be two and when you get to the pearl, you have three stitches to pearl. One, two, three next is knit one two remember this neck warmer was on two by two ribbing so you had two pearls and two knits but after the increase you have two knits and three pearls so we're going to continue with the two knits and three pearls until we have one or one and a half inches and that depends on how wide you want this neck warmer to sit on your shoulders. So one inch length is okay, up to one and a half. But should you want wider than that, you can continue increasing. So once we get to one and a half inches, we're going to go back and I'll show you the last rows that you're going to do. To finish off the neck coma. See you then. Wow! So finally coming to the end of the neck warmer. I don't know if yours grew too much for your needles. Did it fit well on the needles? Did you find it quite cumbersome to knit with the same needles while you're stitching falling off? Let me know in the comment section. 
did you have to change your needles let me know in the comment section mine fitted very well but i've used these needles for all the others that i've made so i already knew that my stitches with the increase will be fine and this is where i am and i hope yours looks the same so i'm looking forward to you sharing yours on the instagram and please tag me at what will i need next i'd love to see your finished products the colors you chose and if you model it i'd love to see how you wear it so let's get to the last part the most interesting part because we're going to do the edge of this necoma give it a very beautiful edge for that edge we're going to do a gutter stitch and if you're knitting in round to achieve a gutter stitch the first row is a knit but you can also do a purl whichever you start with whether you do the first row as a knit or you do it as a purl the second row you have to change so if you started with a knit like me the second row is going to be a purl and the third row will be a knit and the fourth row will be a purl that is how you achieve a gutter stitch when you're knitting in circular if you're knitting in flat to achieve a gutter stitch you do all rows in knit and you achieve <coughs> and you achieve a very beautiful gutter stitch so this is my first row which i'm doing in knit for my edge to give this necoma a very beautiful edge and the second row is going to be a pearl we are going to bind off on the third row and because the second row will be a pearl we'll do our bind off in knit stitch here is my first row done in knit. So I'm just going to slip my stitch marker to this other side and turn my yarn to the front so that I can do my second row in purl to achieve my gutter stitch. And I'll do this and see you when I get to the end of it so that we can do the bind off together okay trust me guys it's not gonna take this long from the beginning of this video until where we are you can tell it's been three days right <laughs> yeah based on the outfits but it's simply because i don't knit throughout the day that is why it's been three days otherwise like i said in the beginning of this video it does just take a few hours so I'm just finishing my second row for the gutter stitch and we are now going to get into the binding off. So to bind off, the first thing that goes is my stitch marker. That one is now done. Its job is done. And because I have done the purl on the second row, we are going to bind off in the knit stitch. So I am going to take my yarn and push it to the back. And now we do the bind off. We knit one and then we take the stitch behind it and pull it over. And that is how we do the bind off. We stitch another one and we take the one that is behind it and pull it over. Make sure you hold your yarn nicely so that when you're pulling over the stitch behind to bind off, then your stitch at the front doesn't come off. So let's go on. Knit one, pull this, and pull over. Knit another one. Something else that is very important is to keep your tension not extremely tight flexible so that this edge is going to sit nicely loosely beautifully on your shoulders so we go on keeping your tension with the yarn not too loose and not too tight that it's going to give it a fold i am sure at this point you are so eager to see the finished 
product you're just waiting to just do these stitches finish and then try it on model it i'm sure at this point you also know exactly what outfit in your wardrobe you are going to wear it with so see you at the last stitch of bind off but before i go let me show you how this looks like and this is what you're going to do to have so you can see this beautiful gutter stitch here edge and that's the beautiful edge that is going to be all around so see you when we finish so here we are last few stitches of um, binding off and what i would like to hear from you is how easy was this to make number one did you enjoy it number two number three which actually should be number one were my instructions clear because this is my very first tutorial video and i've done it a little different from what i see other people doing so let me know if the instructions were very clear for you would you like these instructions written down just in case you would want to do this after maybe watching this video or you would watch the video and combine that with taking a pattern um, with you let me know oh here we go it's done it's so all i need is the scissors and i cut the yarn so we're going to cut it here so you have your last stitch like this in a loop and you've cut the yarn so you're going to put the yarn through that last stitch loop and then just pull it to make a very tight knot after that you see we are left with this bridge we're going to take a darning needle and we are going to darn this yarn and have a very nice complete smooth edge this was my tail which was too long so i'll cut that and done it as well and here we go So remember to answer my questions i would love to hear your feedback in the comment section again this is my very first tutorial and i want to bring you more tutorials of course if you like it and you would like them so let me know uh which other especially from the things that i have knitted follow me on instagram what will i knit next check out things that i have knitted and if there's something that interests you and you would like me to take you on a if you and you would like me to do a tutorial for it please let me know in the comment section here on youtube or also on instagram i know i have a padding tutorial for you are worthy so coming up right not really next but very soon <laughs> we will see you in the next video bye